Hi, I'm Bob Alsop with Shop Saber CNC. Around here, they call me Router Bob. Today, I want to do a video about why an American-made CNC router is right for you. You know, when you start looking at CNC machines, you really have to start looking at what makes Shop Saber stand out so much. And to really understand what we call the Shop Saber culture, you really need to understand a little bit more about the company. And let me let me fill you in on that. You know, Shop Saber is about 20 years old. It's owned by a, the a same gentleman that founded the company, and, and actually he built the first machine himself, and it still operates. So the company's always been led by that level of passion. And pretty much everybody in the company shares that passion. Now, so we started with that concept, all right? So what happens? Well, what, what was our goal? Our goal has always been to produce a great value machine. Well, here comes along the Chinese influence. So all of a sudden the market gets flooded with Chinese machines. We as a company had to figure out how to compete with that and produce superior American-based products, and we were able to do that. Our manufacturing facility is in Lakeville, Minnesota. It's just south of Minneapolis. In our facility, we do everything. So we have a welding shop, a machine shop, electrical shop, an actual assembly and testing shop, and a really sophisticated paint system. So that lets us do everything. But you know what really, really makes this work are the people. Uh, we basically have workers that have been with us a while, and they're very loyal, uh, they're very good jobs. We have them cross-trained, so, you know, if your machine needs its table cut this afternoon, there's five or six people back there that can walk over and do that. So it makes it a really, really efficient way to get things done. It amazes me when I walk out in the shop and I see how much we produce. It's, it's just, it's just mind-boggling. In fact, when I learned about Shop Saber CNC, I came out of retirement to be part of this exciting project. You know, another thing that really makes us stand out and really makes us competitive is how we do marketing. You know, if you step back a few years ago, CNC machines were sold by dealers and they had dealer salesmen and the dealer salesmen then had a relationship with companies in the territory and so they might sell them two or three different kinds of machines. And you know, in those days, machinery salesmen were pretty honest. If, if, if a machinery salesman uh, told a customer something incorrect, it was because they were uninformed. That's kind of changed now. They're not nearly as honest. Well, you step forward, and if we sell Shop Saber CNC's on that business model, that machine's gonna cost you 35% more. Nowadays, I can't afford to pay a dealer commission and afford for a salesman to travel around. We don't need to do that anymore. Now we use videos like this when you're watching and the internet. So that becomes our, our business model. But that gets out of hand also. And, and let me tell you what happens. Some of the companies, for instance, that basically bring machines in from China, well, they're not, they don't make anything. They basically paint them their color. And so what happens is they use the internet to sell it. But it's more like a boiler room approach. And let me tell you what happens. You're on your computer and a little ad click pops up there and you click on it. You just became somebody's sales lead. Well, now here's how the business works. Okay, so you get a phone call and the salesperson starts talking to you and you kind of get an idea. I'm looking for this machine and you say, okay, well, here's, here's what I've got that'll work for you. And you know, there's a published price here and then there's always a deal. Oh, well, we're running a certain special. That's to make you do something now. But you don't know what the real price is. The real price is what that salesman's looking at on the screen that's a price he can't go below. Now here's how the thing works. The salesman is making a, a base salary or something, but he gets whatever he gets above that base price. So some of those salesmen you're dealing with are making more money than you as a company owner are gonna make. Now here's what happens. That's a really, really greed-driven system. And the consequence is, is it tends to make the salesman try to sell you more because he makes more, or it also, Sometimes they're not as uh, good with the truth as they should be. Maybe, maybe they don't want you to know that the machine's made in China. Maybe they, they want to gloss over that. That's the problem with that system. We use a slightly different approach at, at Shop Saber on how we do sales because, first off, our salesmen are not paid on commission because we don't want to put greed into the process. And we also use a different method. We, we use more of a consultative approach. So our salespeople have to, of course, know our machines inside out, but they have to be very knowledgeable on competitors' machines. 
we do a thing we call a competitive analysis and, and what that does is let's say you're looking at one of our machines and someone else's we'll evaluate each machine and tell you exactly what you're getting for your money what each machine has what it doesn't have so that becomes a really really good method in that process we discover something sometimes we find it's real common for companies that are selling Chinese uh, CNC's to really not talk about that at all in fact sometimes one of our customers will say, holy cow, they didn't tell me the thing was made in China. So they've been a little disingenuous sometimes in the industry about that. Sometimes after the competitive analysis, the customers will contact the machine importer and ask them point blank where the machine's made. And they try to gloss, oh, well, our machines are made uh, from parts source globally. Well, here's what that really means. Let me explain that to you. Okay, if you take components like precision contour guide rails, CNC machines have them. Those are actually made on a really, really expensive machine. And the labor cost of the machine is minimal, so you don't save money putting that machine in a third world country. That's why you'll see those companies are in Germany or the US or, or Taiwan or, or Japan. They're in really high tech countries. And so, and there's three or four companies that do this, and most of the machine builders that build quality stuff will use one of those brands, all right? And so what they're saying, well, we use the same components as, as ShopSaber does. Well, that's true, but that's not what determines the accuracy of the machine. You see, when you get into the frame part of the machine, that's really where the accuracy is determined. Let me give you an example. Sometimes on some of the imported machines, it, that part may look like a piece of structural steel, but it's really a piece of folded flat steel. So it's, it's really, it's not nearly as rigid as what we use at ShopSaber. We use structural steel. It's good stuff. But you know what really determines the accuracy of the machine is more than that. It has to do with the machine tool that you machine the frame on where those parts mount. That's what determines accuracy. So we take our machines, we do a, every, all the machining in a single setup. That means that that frame has the accuracy of the machine tool that does that machining. In our case, it's an aerospace mill. That's why our machines cut better. To expand on our frame discussion a little bit more, you know, our higher end CNC routers, we call machine to engrave routers. That means they have ball screws in all the axes. Now what that does is that produces a machine that's more accurate and it gives you much better edge finishes on hard to cut materials like plastic and, and some aluminums. It also makes it more difficult for the machining. So we have to have really high quality machining to use the ball screw drives. Now the machines that we make where we put rack and pinions on there, doesn't take so much. There's, there's a little forgiveness in that because there's that play in the rack and pinions, but the really, really precise stuff have to have really good machining. We offer two types of drive motors for the machines, AC closed loop digital servos and simple stepper motors. Now we use AC digital servos for the high end machines and, and we do that because the control knows at all times where the spindle is. If something goes haywire, the control knows it and it stops things. When you use steppers, you don't have that luxury. The machine says go here, but it doesn't know if the machine went there or not. So if you have a programming problem or something happens, once that stepper motor loses its place, theoretically the next move's random. That can be right across the table and, and you, you never know it. So there's a little safety hazard there. Also, we don't make tool changer machines with steppers. We only use closed loop AC digital servo simply because of safety. Now, we do on low-end machines use steppers because they work pretty well on low-power machines. The CNC controller is normally one of the most expensive components on a CNC machine. And you know, some companies cut corners on that. They may have three or four different types of controllers, but we didn't approach it from that. We basically, we know there's an experience that we want the operator to have. Uh, when they run the machine. We want it to be easy and intuitive. We want it to be easy to run. So we use that across the board. So all of our CNC machines have the same user interface. It's called a ShopSaber CNC control. So we put that on the machines. Now, not only is it easy to use because there's a Windows interface behind it, you can actually connect it to a network to transfer files back and forth. You can run programming software. So it gives you a lot of flexibility. And that's really, really important to, to our total experience with the, for the machine operator. Now you contrast that to a lot of what you see on the imported uh, Chinese machines. You'll see this little handheld control and, and uh, it's called a DSP. 
And you can actually buy them. You can go online and, and you can order one of those whole control systems direct from China delivered to your house for less than $400. Well, when you look at that, you say, holy cow, what am I really getting for my machinery dollar? But one of the reasons they do that is because they don't have the ability to do the engineering that we do at Shop Saber CNC. You know, the one area we really haven't addressed in great detail is engineering, and that's what really makes this all work. We do all of our own design and engineering. We use the latest software that lets us design things that go through the shop efficiently. It lets us design things that work really well. It lets us be innovative. If we come up with a new idea like, like our Super Z technology, it's real easy to get that developed and get that in the field. It's virtually impossible if you're importing a machine from somewhere else to get any of those kinds of things done. You know, our customers buy from us for the same reason your customers buy from you. It all boils down to service and support. Support and service starts with engineering and, and so that you design things that are correct when they ship. We thoroughly test things. It's even to the point now where on most of our CNC machines, they're intuitive enough, you can actually plug and play and, and install them yourself. If you need more help, we offer that, but we don't force you to pay for that if you don't need it. Most of our customers don't. You know, that takes us to another level then, and how do your operators learn how to use it? Well, first off, we have free phone support, free lim unlimited email support. You know, we can actually remotely connect to your machine and diagnose, and you know, we offer training classes for as long as you own the machine. So if you hire a new employee, you can send them for a factory class and, uh, and get them started off right. You know, there's another part to all of this too, and you have to look at, at the investment that you made and how long it's good. Now let's say that if you buy a machine from somebody that's buying from a, a, an overseas company, when they drop the product, you're, you don't have any options. You're done. That's not the case with us. We make stuff here. We can support every machine we've ever made at this company. And that's a pretty strong statement. At Shop Saber CNC, we make a broad range of CNC routers right here in America, all the way from entry level to our flagship IS machine. You know, you don't have to settle for an imported CNC router. Take advantage of our competitive analysis. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, you can contact us at shopsaber.com. Thank you for watching.